Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Today I'm gonna to be covering how to get unlimited fusion cores. You can do this in a private or a public lobby. Um, I will explain a bit of the differences and uh, I just wanna say thank you to my friends John and Wolf for helping. Um, really appreciate that, fellas. So, the best ways to get fusion cores, in my opinion, are to go to the power plants. And there are three of them and they are Poseidon, Monongah and Thunder Mountain and I'm showing them all here on the map and they will produce I think three every seven minutes or sorry one every seven minutes we're gonna get into that um, I can't <laughs> remember right now but um, the thing is just basically playing the waiting game after you set all of these up which I'm gonna show you how to do and all you do is you come to these power plants. You're not going to be able to fast travel directly to the uh, the fusion processor, but you will be able to fast travel to the power plant, and then it will trigger an event. I would just turn it off. You can use it to power up the uh, processor, but if you can get a fusion generator, which is extremely easy, I would just suggest doing it that way because powering up the power plants can take a bit. And basically all you do is come over to these places. It's basically a workshop if you know what that is. You just come over here, clear everything out, all the enemies, and then eventually you will be able to claim the workshop. And when you do, you can take advantage of the fusion processors which are at these three locations. And like I said, so every 20 minutes you're gonna get three fusion cores from each one. So basically, every 21 minutes if you have all three of them going you're going to get nine fusion cores so in an hour you can get 27 fusion cores and i think that's pretty good if you just you know mess around for a couple of hours like that's enough fusion cores easily for you know for some people you know a month <laughs> definitely maybe a week for like if you play a lot but yeah this won't take you longer than you know two or three hours and you don't even have to be at the console i know that seems like a while but like i said you don't even have to be at the console especially if you're in a, in a private lobby um yeah you don't even have to be here and just you know slowly collect them i literally have you know set this up and went and cleaned my house and came back and just kept collecting them but uh, anyway, like I said, you do need a fusion generator, and you can get it at most vendors. Um, in case you need one to find one, then here's a list of the vendors that will sell it. You have to be level 30 plus to get the fusion generator, and the reason you need that one is because it provides 100 power, which is what the fusion processor needs. Now, you can, you know, combine little generators, but I would just go get that plan. It's so easy to find, as you can see, there's more than a couple vendors that sell it. I would just suggest going to the White Spring Mall, and then you'll easily find the plan, I'm sure. And then, here it is right here, the fusion generator. And then, again, just hook it up to the fusion processor. Every seven minutes, fusion core. And keeping in mind, you will have to defend these places. I just wanted to show me capturing two before I actually had to defend. I did have help from my friends, but you can easily capture two before you have to defend the first one that you captured. So just keep that in mind, you will have to defend them. Once you defend them once each, you probably won't be bothered again unless you're in the same server for like three or four hours it might get attacked again it's very rare i only ever usually have to defend it once and sometimes i don't even have to defend it so just keep that in mind when you're you know going to uh or doing this process you will have to defend them just keep an eye on it or you will lose um you know they will break your stuff you know, your fusion generator, um, even the processor, I think they can break. So just keep that in mind. Even some turrets would help. Throwing up a couple cement walls will help. Just little suggestions. And like I said, once you're having this all set up and ready to go, you know, every 21 minutes you should have three fusion cores in each one. So if you really wanted to just, you know, go AFK and come back every 21 minutes and collect these, it, you know, doing that for one day for a couple hours, you'll be good. And here's just a little note. Fusion cores pro or fusion core processors produce one fully charged fusion core every seven minutes and can store a maximum of three cores each. So just keep that in mind, like I said, every seven minutes. And yeah, it's also good for power armor chassis and Gatling laser weapons. And you can craft them at the chemistry station as well, which I'm going to show. But I wouldn't go that route. Um, I, would, I would go this route. 
but I just want to show too a perk card batteries include it if you are gonna you know hoard a bunch of fusion cores I highly recommend batteries include it it makes them weigh so much less and if you put like a hundred in your stash box man that's like 300 pounds so if you're collecting like like a hundred or so I highly recommend just keeping them on you and you can see they weigh a lot less here that I'm showing than when they did before I put the perk card on so just keep that in mind um, a couple more perk cards to talk about are um, batteries included, of course, which I just mentioned, and power user I wanted to mention as well. It will make your fusion cores last longer. Um, 60 for 60 percent for uh, level two, and I think it's 90 percent or maybe even 100% for level three, I'm not sure. Um, level two power user has always been enough for me when I was using a power armor. You don't really need it, but I just wanted to throw it out there in case you wanted to throw it on there. There's also a legendary perk card called Electrical Absorption, I think, yes. And what that does is, is if you are being attacked by energy damage, then there's a chance that it may just, you know, refill your fusion core life, which is extremely nice. Um, you can also get a fusion core recharger thing from, I think it's a pit bundle on the store. Um, but I wouldn't recommend that. If you can get that, you can get that. But I've heard that, you know, it's not as lucrative. Like, you could just do what I'm showing you here and you'll have more than enough fusion cores so you don't don't go buying a bundle if you're uh, trying to save fusion cores it's nice to have but it's not a must I, I would say you know the power plants is a much better method and as you can see the electrical absorption 20% chance energy damage will recharge your power armor's fusion core and restore your health so just wanted to throw that legendary perk card out there it's you know I've heard it's extremely useful I haven't tried it myself but I've heard lots of comments about it so just wanted to throw that that out there and of course like I said you can craft fusion cores now this is probably the fastest way to make them um, but I wouldn't suggest this because it's one of each flux for fusion core now I would definitely have super duper on if you're gonna go this route and maybe this is the route for you maybe you have lots of extra flux so maybe you might just want to do it this way but if you, you know, don't want to waste your flux like me, then the power uh, plant is definitely the way to go, which I was showing. I would highly recommend that way. It's just so easy to do, to just go AFK a bit. Go take a shower and come back. You're probably going to have, like, nine fusion cores already, you know what I mean? And or if you're wandering around in the wasteland, you know, like I said, if you're going to do this, maybe do it right away when you get into the server, and then... You know just let them be and keep you know letting them build up i did show how to lock them as well if you're going to be in a public lobby i highly recommend and uh yeah that's pretty much it everybody let me know if this helps you or you know if you have any other tidbits of information and uh thank you for uh watching everybody take care